Morning! I hope you're all well. I thought I would vlog today because I'm off to get a new tattoo. Um, well, this afternoon. This morning I'm off to work. Um, I'm only in till two, so it's not too bad. And then I'm going to head over and meet Paul at the shop and get my other hand tattooed. It's so dull outside. I do not want to go to work. Ugh. And the car's frozen over. That should be fun. First world problems, eh? You right, boy? Can you say hello? Oh, we're too tired. Good boy. I'm coming to the shop later. See your dad. I'm see your dad later. Yeah? <gasps> you got a gammy eye. I need to wipe that. Yeah, you're gonna be good. Guard the house. Good girl. God, I wanna stay with you all day. Fuck, it's cold. Oh, I am fed up with this weather. Anybody that lives in a hot country, I despise you. <laughs> oh, oh shit, I got a question either. If anyone wants to do a house swap that lives in a hot country, then hit me up because I'm sick to death of this weather. <laughs> Finally left work. God, that took forever. I've just put some fuel in. Um, grabbed myself some dinner. I picked Betty and Mert up. As you can see, they're in the back. Yes, they have got seatbelts on before anybody ridicules me. Um, and I will see you when I get to the shop. Right, kids? No reply. They're like biting each other's mouths. Oh, God. Did you do this morning? Those walks? Yeah. Any good? They're alright, yeah. Yeah, it went, it went good. Oh, so every bit of kit you've got is about addict. It. It's because I've always scrimped. You know what I'm saying now? I cheat, you buy twice. You do. <laughs> That's how come we ended up with Betty. <gasps> not the case because she's a better dog all round. Look at her. <laughs> you alright? Have you been sent to your bed? Bloody good. Bloody, bloody, bloody good. I'm going to just have your hand a sec. Good boy! Right, so we're all done at the shop. My arm is like throbbing. We um, did a load of more black on my arm as well, so I'll show you it when it's um, settled down a bit. It's really swollen. I'm gonna drive home. I've got my mum and dad staying tonight because they're off to Paris tomorrow, so we're gonna take them to the station. And yeah, it should be a good evening. Probably gonna say goodbye here, um, and I might intertwine it with Wednesday because I'm getting my hair done, so. It'll be a bit of a longer vlog then. So I'm going to go home, have some beans on toast and call it a night. Good morning. It is Wednesday. I've just done my makeup. I haven't done my hair yet, but I'm off to 
um, get my hair done this afternoon. I'm getting rid of the blonde. It's got so long, it's so matted. It's a horrible blonde now. So I'm just sick of it. So I'm going brown all over, I think. But I will take you with me and show you when we get there, um, when it's done, if I can get over the um, fear of vlogging in public. Because I just feel like a complete and utter knob. <laughs> But yeah, this morning I've got to take Betty and Bert to the vets to get their annual um, booster vaccination things. I'm going to come back, grab a few bits that I need to do in town. I've got a parcel to take back to Debenhams. I ordered a Fitbit um, watch, but it's so bulky. How anybody can exercise in those is beyond me, especially when you're doing like floor work. It's just too bulky on my wrist. So sending that back, I'm going to call in and see Paul at work on my way back. And yeah, I just got a few errands to run. I need to get something. Is my hair grey? What is that? No. I need to get some sort of hair mask for my hair as well. But I usually just use coconut oil, but it's just past caring for and it needs a cut. When I rang the other day, they were like, yeah, you haven't had it done since July last year. So I haven't had my hair. That's so bad. You're meant to have it like trimmed every six weeks, aren't you? So... Yeah, it's in definite need of a little bit of a pick-me-up. I've taken all the Christmas stuff down, but I need to put it all up in the attic, so I'm going to do that this afternoon. And probably just catch up on emails, blog stuff. Still got my arm in cling film. I find it so much easier to sleep with a new tattoo just wrapped in cling film. So uh, if you do struggle, then that is the way forward. Although I wake up sweating, it's worth it because you don't get black all over the quilt. So I've got back from the vets, all was good, 150 pound lighter, but what do you do? Um, it's always the way when I go to the vets. So now I'm off to get my hair done and wave goodbye to this scraggly blonde. It's doing my head in now, so it's time for a change and I don't think I'll miss it. I hope I don't. And I hope it looks nice. I'm sure you guys will be the judge of that. <laughs> and yes, I will see you when I get there. So I'm back from having my hair done. Sorry I look a bit ropey. I just got into bed and had a bit of a nap. So <laughs> um, yeah, it's so different. I feel so weird with short hair. Sorry if you can hear noise. All the dogs are eating. Mum and Dad's dog Bruno staying with us for a couple of days because they're in Paris. So yeah, it's like dog crazy here at the moment, which I don't mind. I love having three dogs in the house. Um, and yeah, this is it. I it's so different, it's so dark, but I think I like it. It's very um, short. <laughs> I mean, it was down here, so I have had like a fair bit cut off. So yeah, I like it. I'll insert a picture of it on Instagram so you can see the light a bit better, because I'm just under like my kitchen lighting at the moment. Sorry if I didn't uh, film much in there. It's so awkward trying to film when someone's cutting your hair. So yeah. Um, I didn't really do anything else, like I said, I just came back and had a bit of a nap because I felt a bit ropey. I've been feeling a bit shit the past couple of days. I don't know whether I'm getting a cold or Australian flu or whatever the fuck it is. I'm probably going to end the vlog here now because we're not really doing anything else this week. I've got a few days off work to do some blog work that I need to catch up on. God, you lot make a racket. We're going to a tattoo show on Sunday, so I might take you along to that. I also got a package I wanted to uh, show you guys. I ordered something from P&Co. If you don't follow their Instagram, you need to. It's just like heaven. I absolutely love their Instagram account. Um, and I've wanted something from them for ages, so I finally ordered a t-shirt. And it comes with stickers and I, think I thought I had two stickers. Maybe not. And just a like little card. I just love their branding. It's so cool. Um, I just picked up there. I'm not sure what it's called. Hang on. Bad Luck Club Tiger Tea. I love it. They're all really simple designs, but they're really cool. So it's just a black t-shirt. There's P&Co logo on the front. Even the inside's cool. Look. It says Wild Ones Never Die. And then on the back... Sorry, I'm showing you this in such a roundabout way. Um, 
I love t-shirts with a back logo. It says Lars Bad Luck Club Custom Motors and Builds. I love it. So if you haven't checked P and Co out, I will leave a link below. If you want some cool t-shirts, then definitely head on over and check them out. And yeah, I hope you're all well, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.